I'm PJ, and welcome to my home. Um, we call home uh, Grace Hollow. We live uh, northwest Arkansas, and I'm sure most of you probably know me. Uh, I'm sure you came here from my other channel, uh, Grace Hollow Rabbitry. Uh, I'm the bunny lady, or uh, some people like to call me Miss Grace, and that's fine too. Uh, I, I answer to both. can't say enough. Uh, how lucky I feel, how blessed I feel. Um, I believe with everything in me, uh, God had his hand on me when this happened. Uh, this stroke is a very mild in nature. Um, the MRI can't tell me when this MRI happened, uh, but um, what I think, I do remember one day I was driving uh, my daughter and I went to get groceries, and um, I felt fine. We left home, and I feel just fine. Uh, on the way, I started uh, getting ill, uh, sick to my tummy, nauseous. Uh, my headache was getting really bad. Uh, it was bad enough. Um, I told my daughter, you have to finish the shopping. Here's my card. You pay. Uh, I've got to go to the car, and so uh, she finished the shopping, and on the way home, I don't remember what it was, I said something to her, and I laughed and said, oh, well, look at that, I'm so nauseous, I can't even talk straight, um, I can't remember what I said, but whatever came out of my mouth, um, it didn't sound right to me. Um, she didn't notice, uh, she listened to music and headphones, so she didn't notice, but, um, the best guess I have is that's when I had my stroke. Uh, I had my daughter with me, I was driving, uh, other vehicles on the road, uh, when I think what could have happened, um, I know God had his hand on me, I know uh, he was protecting me and my daughter and everyone else on the road at that time. So, I've had a stroke. That's what happened. Uh, and it affects, uh, minor effects, uh, but men, uh, the ones I do have are <laughs> uh, scary to me. One, uh, you notice right off the bat, is I don't talk the same as I did before. Um, it's not bad, and of course today is a good day. Uh, some days are worse than others. Some, do some days my speech is very slow, uh, and other days it just sounds like I've picked up a new accent. Uh, <laughs> or that's what they tell me. Uh, some days when my head is hurting more than others, um, my speech is... Uh, a little more difficult to understand, uh, is slow in nature, um, and, you know, uh, another one you probably will notice is sometimes my thoughts don't get to my mouth as fast <laughs> as I want. I may stop in mid-sentence and just stare at you blankly like, what was I thinking, you know? Uh, but um, annoying, I'm sure, but that's why. Uh, the other symptoms I have are really uh, more of a personality change that uh, maybe if you don't know me, you wouldn't notice. Um, one, um, I seem to be very sarcastic and a little funny now <laughs> to where before I was very serious in nature. Um, Another thing, uh, very distracted. Um, I have very difficult time, um, as you see, uh, working on tasks. Uh, it's nothing for me to take, you know, get up, um, think, oh, it's time for lunch, and need to get up and do lunch. And it may be three or four hours before I make it to the kitchen to eat lunch uh, because I'll see other things that distract me. 
Um, oh, the dog needs food. Oh, the dog needs water. The dog needs love. The sheet on the chair needs to be straightened. And I can't seem to finish any one project uh, because I just float from one project to another to another and really don't accomplish much at all. Uh, that is very annoying. I don't, I'm one to go, go, go. I have things to do. You get in there, you get them done, and you go on. And I, that's not the way it is anymore. Um, the other symptoms that I have, um, that I notice, um, is I still have, uh, the sensory issues. Um, I still have a lot of numbness or tingly. Um, it's like touching me through a buffer. Like perhaps you uh, put a thick blanket and then touch me. Uh, as I do have sensation difficulties and balance. Uh, as long as I stand still or walk on like a flat surface, uh, like a floor, uh, my balance is okay. Uh, but if you get me outside on a rocky terrain or grass or sticks or leaves, uh, my balance gets um, just a little more shaky. And so I have to be careful with that. So anyway, um, this is my new channel and I want to say welcome. I know this video probably uh, very boring in nature. Um, I just this is like an introductory. This is what has happened to me. Now, what this channel is going to be about is where I go from here, you know. Um, and I've got to back up. There's going to be a couple of episodes that's already happened that I'm going to back up and discuss and then probably go back do a little history also. Uh, this is going to be oh, a hodgepodge of different things. Um, this is about reclaiming my life and really, honestly, fighting for my life. I am a high risk for stroke. I'm high risk for heart attack. Uh, I'm, you know, being diabetic and my blood sugars are out of control. Um, I'm at risk to go blind, lose a lamb, I mean all these things. And I think, and I think we all think when we're diagnosed with diabetes, oh, those things won't happen to me. I'm 43 years old, just turned 43 years old, and I had a stroke. Uh, these things do happen. <laughs> you have to take them serious. Um, I didn't and now I paid the price, uh, but I am still high risk. I have to make life changes um, or I won't live, uh, plain and simple. If I don't make permanent life changes, um, I'm going to die. Uh, plain and simple, that's just the truth of the matter. And I don't want that. I, I want another 40 years on this earth. Uh, God has blessed us with a beautiful place to live, and I want to be here to enjoy it. Watch my kids have grandkids, watch my grandkids grow. Uh, these are things that I want, and I'm going to fight for them. Uh, we will discuss diet, we will discuss uh, marriage, relationships, love, gardening, uh, you know, whatever affects our life here at Grace Hollow, uh, we will discuss uh, here on this channel. And it could be many of things, maybe hobbies, or maybe uh, difficulties, or maybe religion, or uh, just a hodgepodge. This is just about my life, how I cope, um, and not just my life either, uh, this is my family's life. Because this stroke has affected them um, just as much as it has me. Like, for instance, my son, you know, he worries and he doesn't want me to 
uh, push my sugar up and he leaves message, oh, this has sugar. You know, this has affected all of us. My children, uh, we have two living at home. You know, a 17-year-old boy, uh, he's the baby, he's still at home. And then um, my oldest, 25-year-old uh, daughter, uh, who also lives here at home. Um, and then, of course, the Daddy J. Uh, they all work, they all go to school, they all have a life, and they are all very worried and concerned about me. And it changes their life, not just mine, but theirs too. So anyway, that's what you can look forward to here on this channel. And day-to-day uh, -day things will, topics will change. Um, tomorrow uh, I have an appointment with my neurologist, uh, so we will most likely discuss that uh, tomorrow, uh, see what he says and where we go from here. Uh, so, you know, day-to-day -day the topics will change. Uh, just whatever I feel like talking about that next day, or maybe Daddy J uh, wants to visit with us, or, uh, you know, just whatever. Um, now, uh, that's it for, until we speak again, God bless.